How you doing everybody? It's uh, Thursday the 5th of August 2010 and uh, as you know I've been away and I was doing a bit of catch up trying to read a bit what I missed when I was away because uh, obviously I had access to a lot of English newspapers and foreign papers when I was away but some of the Irish stuff I missed it and uh, I came across a f fantastic article and the reason I raise it is because I'll, I'll explain it to you as we go along. Uh, it's an article from the Sunday Independent, uh, the 25th of July. And I've put a little, I've put a little link up to it there, and you can have a read of it. Uh, because the problem is, it's a full page article out of a out of a large format newspaper, and my my little scanner can't handle it. So what I'll have to do is, if I'm going to put it in, which I will, hopefully I will do, I'm going to have to reduce it down some way. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do this, all right? I, I'm not too sure how I'm going to do this. I may have to put it in, in the various parts, break it up, but how I'm going to do this, all right? I, I'm not too sure how I'm going to do this. I may have to put it in, in the various parts, break it up, put it in the parts, but I can't do it on my scanner at the minute, okay? The, the, uh, what, what it's in connection with is, it's connection with an extraordinary organisation that we have. We have an organisation called the National Treasury Management Agency. And it's an adjunct to our Ministry of Finance. And it was set up uh, sometime in the 90s. And it was set up by private diktat. And what I mean by that is, you have to listen to the following. Imagine we have a state agency with full civil servants, public servants, fully employed by the state. Okay. And their wages are secret. And their terms and conditions that they're employed with are secret. How do you know? Now, this was pointed out to me by several years ago, in passing, by somebody that I know that works in the Ministry of Finance. And when when he raised it with me, I I, I thought he was bullshitting me. I thought he was messing me about. I took down a few details and I emailed the Central Statistics Office, and I emailed. Uh, we have an ombudsman for information, I think she's called Emily, Emily O'Reilly. And I emailed her, I think, at the time. I, I, maybe it was a different ombudsman at the time, but it doesn't matter. I, I did email the office, and both of them came back with the same thing. No, this information is not available. It's not within the public domain. So the information that I got, the initial information two years ago, was correct. And then all of a sudden, I have this amazing article. Now, this is the article here, and it's, uh, can you see it there? Basically what it is, it, it, it's headed up by the photographs of 10 people and they're from the major state and semi-state bodies within the state. And the article is called, there's what the article is titled, do you see it there? High Flyers, it says High Flyers who still live in a public state of grace. Do you see that? Okay. State of Grace. Do you see that? Okay. And as I say, it's written by a man called Daniel McConnell. And the reason I get on about it is, is as follows. It tells you extraordinarily. Just you have to listen to this. Is it any wonder that all this stuff is kept secret? Listen to this. The head of the National Treasury Management Agency is a man called John Corrigan. Alright. <clears throat> Do you know what the estimate of his salary is? Here. No, do you know what it is? 900,000 euros. The odds on are a huge pension bonus and expenses account. His annual total package is worth in excess of 1.2 million euros. And there's an asterisk beside this. You have to listen to this. 1.2 million euros. A public servant in a small republic on the edge of Western Europe earns three or four times more than our Taoiseach. Man, you could not make this stuff up. You could not make this up. The asterisk says at the end, the National Treasury Management Agency does not reveal its salaries nor its packages. In other words, its terms and conditions of employment. These figures are estimates. Now the reason I raise this is so what that it's in the public domain. It's no longer the public domain. Because I went to make the connection for you so that you could get on and look at this article. 
and it's been removed from the independent site. The Sony Independent no longer has it on its site. So I put a couple of emails there. If you want to, if you want to get on to the Sunday, uh, the Sunday Independent about it, do so. I've got on to them and I'm waiting for a reply to see what they say. And I've emailed, more importantly, I've emailed this man, Daniel McConnell. First of all, to congratulate him about the article and to ask him, uh, could, he, could he just, uh, without getting into elaboration, could he explain to me that it, it actually has been taken down from his site? Because I can't find it. I've gone on to the Daniel O'Connell element of their site and I've gone on to their general site and put in the headings. There's no sign of this. There's a sign of everything else was in the paper that day, but not this article. But I know what's happened. See these people here? See these people here? These are some of the most powerful people in this country. These people and their lawyers have gagged that newspaper. That's what's happened. Either them all as a group or as individuals, they've gagged this man, Daniel McConnell. Of that there's no doubt. They don't like that. They don't like people like Daniel McConnell up in your face, telling it like it is. This is a country, a so-called republic, governed by cuterism and cheap cronyism. That's what it is. I said like it is. That's what it is. That's what it's governed by. I told you the people who run this state in the main are incompetence, at best incompetence, and at worst cheap criminals, petty criminals. And they're probably a combination of both. Anyway, so much for the Republic, so much for our lovely little country. What a state we're in.